You promised you'd never let go. We are recording. Hey, everybody. My name is Joe. Welcome to the fifth and second to last episode of Create Together. We're telling stories about people all over the world who are coping with this strange time of pandemic and isolation by staying creative and doing it together with other people, collaborating online on all kinds of creative projects. So if you're looking for something creative to do, come check out Hit Record, find a project that inspires you, jump in with us. In a second, I'm gonna show you a short film project called My Patch of Sky, which is a beautiful piece, came together in a really inspiring way. But before we get into that story, watch this. Hey, what's up? I'm Stormville and I'm playing with mugs. So this next project started pretty simply with an artist called Metaphorist, just talking about her view outside her window and how important that view had become to her during quarantine. And then she asked the world to take a look outside their windows and write about what they saw there. And once again, this simple prompt inspired a chain reaction of creativity and ended up with this beautiful short film. But um, before I play it for you, I wanna talk about how the piece took shape. My name is Sarah. I go by the username Metaphorist. I'm Irish, but I live in Fife, Scotland, where I've been for the past 10 years or so. When things are tough, normally I would write to express my feelings, but due to being in isolation, spending so much time in this room, I filmed a very simple video just using my phone to capture my literal view on the world out the window. I am a screenwriter and filmmaker, and this is where I've been spending most of my time during the lockdown. My favorite thing about this room is the view. I don't have a garden, but what I do have is this beautiful, ever-changing patch of sky and life that stops me from ever feeling hemmed in, despite being in isolation. There's always something to see out there. A family whizzing past on their bikes, the cat that sits in the neighbor's window, but my favorite thing that I can see are these cherry blossom trees, which only bloomed a few days ago. The idea that nature still follows its usual gentle rhythms, even though everything else has come to a stop, is very comforting. After sharing the video of my own patch of sky, I thought that this could make a really interesting project for other people to share their patches of sky too. What struck me first was how peaceful so many of the videos were. But what also struck me was just how much is happening right outside our windows when we start to pay attention. Like the fox cub in Patricia Shrigley's garden. Hi, I'm Kashan Mustafa. I'm from New Delhi, India, and this is my patch of sky. Metaphoris project inspired me to write a poem about it. Help, for I am bound inside a prison of concrete. The world goes on unashamed of its apathy. It a prisoner too of pandemics, 
and histories and progress i know my poem is a bit dark but the reality here in india is that the pandemic is just hitting its stride there are lakhs and lakhs of people who are out of jobs uh, they don't have food to eat in this lockdown they are desperate to go back from the huge cities to their villages where their home is because they feel that the land will help them survive but they can't go now and now the lockdown is easing but the cases are rising so it's nowhere near over and we're all feeling the pinch of it we're all sort of economically strained and uh, socially and emotionally as well but we have to get through and being a creative soul you you have to think of creative ways to get out of that another video contribution that i was hooked on to was cellophane's heading west it was um, so different from my patch of sky the sort of longing to be out of my own space and to go somewhere with such openness just surged forth after seeing that video when i started to put together the poem the first thing that i did was read all of the writing contributions that had come in and watched all of the videos I compiled all of my favorite little nuggets for example. I would start with a darker moment which I got from Co-op, the line for I am bound inside a prison of concrete and I would end on a moment of hope which I got from Blooming by Camille Gerst, the line we too shall bloom again. And the next step was to invite voiceover artists to perform the poem and for musicians to create a score for the film. Lately, my world has shrunk. being whittled down to fit within a window framed a living breathing painting hi i'm chrissy regler and i live in dorset in the uk like most places in the world we have been affected by this pandemic there's been a lot of adaptation required because of the dynamics of how the house now has to run We've got two kids the dog the husband it can really impact um your sanity i was hiding in various places around my house just for half an hour to have a cup of tea and let my mind just be blank <laughs> so trying to make time to be creative has been really the only thing that has kept me quite grounded and sane I saw that Metaphorus had a poem that was being requested for voiceover. I can't resist because I love her writing. So, I did a voiceover contribution. And when I look out on the world, the walls around me melt away. It was really therapeutic actually. Um I might do it more <laughs> if people could be bothered to listen. Seeing Metaphorus original video of My Patch of Sky, I found really relatable because that 45 minutes of looking at your sky throughout the day is the same as me having 45 minutes trying to hide in the corner of my house and drink a cup of tea and just have a moment of peace a moment of something to be appreciative of my name is clint clark and on hit record i'm known as piano nanny So, my patch of sky, which is something that I finished scoring. Chrissy Regler did the voice acting. She did an outstanding job. And it, it was really easy to score when there's so much emotion and feeling in it. And it was very interesting. There were many parts of it. Uh, like the the first part is a little more happy go lucky. An old couple holding hands, the spark of young love in their eyes. and then it gets a little more serious and an introspect lost in memories of past lives where no walls can find me so at the beginning of this piece we're going to use a tempo set at 94 beats per minute that tempo will allow us to use some pizzicato strings and do kind of a lighthearted uh, a piece up front so that we can move into more tender moments later on in the piece lately my world has shrunk been whittled down to fit within a window framed a living breathing painting it was wonderful to score so i really enjoyed uh, working on the project So as you saw so many people contributed to this short film the writing the cinematography the music a great project leader in metaphorist but as an actor i just wanted to shout out 
the actress who performs the narration of this piece, Chrissy Regler. You know, she's not a professional actress. She has her own small business. She doesn't live in Hollywood. She lives in a smaller town in the UK, but it just goes to show there's so much talent and creativity outside of the entertainment industry. And her performance is a shining example of that. So good. Bravo, Chrissy, and bravo to all the collaborators. So here it is. The short film is called My Patch of Sky. Lately, my world has shrunk, been whittled down to fit within a window, framed, a living, breathing painting. I once felt bound inside this concrete prison, lost in memories of past lives where no walls can find me. But now, I see the beauty of this ever-changing patch of sky, this portal of mine. And when I look out on the world, the walls around me melt away. Some mornings, there is a mist that covers like a blanket. There are evenings where the clouds turn pink, the edges lined with gold. And I see families fly past on bikes, together more than ever. An old couple holding hands, the spark of young love in their eyes, still. There are no planes to interrupt the endless blue. No traffic to drown out the gentle rustling of leaves. Still, I dream of where I'll go when all this is over. But for the moment, I am happy that this piece of earth, this patch of sky, is mine. And though it feels like time stands still, I know that, like the budding trees that sow the signs of spring, we too will bloom again. We will. Watching other people's contributions to this project, The Patch of Sky, has inspired me as well as uh, sort of took me away from my own reality, which is always great that escape, you need that. It turned into something so much bigger and better than I could have imagined when I posted my own little video. And now when I look out my window for some inspiration or hope or connection, I know I'm not the only one. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And next week is our grand finale. It'll be the final chapter of our Class of 2020 project. If you've been following along, we'll unveil the finished music video we've all been making together. And by the way, it's still not done. This show comes together fast, so there's still time for you to jump in on it. There really is. Come make art with us. Thanks to YouTube Originals. Subscribe to our channel. Catch the next episode. Until then, stay safe, stay positive, stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Again, my heart.